Hi YouTube, Bullhorn Betty here. Happy Friday. Just wanted to come live um, through video uh, about uh, another portion of the discussion that we had with Cher chasing, or excuse me, um, listen to voices behind the wall uh, where she was paneling with Chasing Truth and as well as her husband, uh, Mr. Cher. When we had our interview, unfortunately, I didn't have the segment in pulled up or written down about Don telling her he does not know where in the world, um, you know, you could sell, you know, ST somebody and, and, and things of that nature primarily related to his daughter, Summer Wells, which went missing July 15th, 2021, and has not been seen from since, uh, since being at her home reportedly uh, in the Beach Creek community of Rogersville, Tennessee. So, we hear this conversation with Chris McDonough that Mary had recorded when she was talking to Don Wells about her sister Trish and, and, and what happened to Trish many, many, many years ago at the hands of Don Wells. Don Wells was 14 years old. Uh, Trish was only five years old at the time. Uh, Don Wells has denied it to the public many times that any of this has happened. Mary, um, you know, took a different approach and got him on the record, got, you know, recorded the conversation and turn that conversation over to Chris McDonough and explained, you know, some of the stuff behind the scenes that were going on to Chris McDonough. So he actually brought forth this clip and decided to break it down and to explain it. Uh, because in reality, uh, Mary had actually gotten a confession. You know, she, she worked very hard and, you know, Don Wells confessed to his involvement uh, many, many, many years ago in Utah related to her sister, Trish. One of the allegations that came up in that conversation was the fact, or it's been making circulation, at least for uh, rumor, you know, purposes, has made its way around stating uh, that Don had, you know, in the past sold or attempted to sell um, his prior set of kids. So, you know, it, that's kind of coming back, and, and it Cher is, uh, gave uh, Don an opportunity to have any last comments to make, and he chose to take that point in time in her interview with him on August 7th, 2021, and go into expressing how she, uh, he has no idea how, where, uh, or whatnot, you know, to get rid of a kid in that manner. And then, you know, many months later, Chris McDonough has this telephone call that hit Don Wells and Mary were having, and it was recorded, whether it was known to Don Wells or not. But he is in jail, so it is presumed that all calls are recorded. And he plays it. So first, I'm going to step back. I want you to hear what Don Wells says to Miss Cher, listen to Voices Behind the Wall. Here you go. Oh, don't want to. You're muted. Hey, can I can I say can I say one more thing? Um, yep. Trish had mentioned that I tried selling my kids when I was younger, when I was living in Utah, and and I just want to flat out deny that. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Where who in the world can you sell kids to anyway? You know, I, that is mm. just unbelievable so he again takes the opportunity right then and there to go ahead and, and express that you know he doesn't know where how why you know some kind of transaction like this can take place and then many months later chris mcdonough is breaking this telephone call that don has with his stepsister mary listen to this have, I still have, you know, I remember many times and throughout my life, girls hitting on me. Um, I've been to places, I've been to places in California where I've been. Okay, this is the part for the whole call. This is the part I think has the most relevance potential in Summer's case. Okay, I'm going to back it up here. and I want everybody to listen to this very carefully. And then let's weigh in. 
So here we go. I have done what I did. I get that. Right. I still have, I still have, you know, I remember many times and throughout my life, girls hitting on me. Uh-huh. I've been to places, I've been to places in California where I've been to some places where there were little kids where people were trying to sell these little kids. Oh, wow. I've, I've, I've seen a lot of shit. That I- okay. So-, so what is your thoughts? So he's on one hand, months, you know, just a couple months after Summer went missing and states this. And then almost a year later, he's on the telephone with Mary and it sounds like he's being truthful. So let me know what your thoughts are about this, about this revelation. Do you believe, one, that Don knows where, how, and why to get rid of someone in this manner? And do you believe that he was in a den like that in California? And lastly, how does it make you feel to know that this man experienced something like that and never once now mind you he has a daughter of his own never once picked up the phone to call and help those children and what about the big question the elephant in the room why in the world was Don at a place like that why in the world would he even know or even be and see something like that. Was he there for a reason? Another twisted, disgusting, self-absorbed reason? Did he partake in those activities? Many people have alleged since his daughter went missing, that these types of things were actually going on in his home. And then we hear this breaking statement to his sister, his stepsister, Mary. I don't know. It seems sad. It seems sad. No man that has children, that has walked into a place like that and does not pick up the phone and help those children. They are a piece of scum to me. So let me know your thoughts. Is Don well a scumbag? More so than we already thought? You're probably going to be surprised with the uh, comments from the people in and around this case and our audience. It's just sad. Prayer for, for Summer Wells, justice for Summer Wells, and we're going to continue to fight for all victims of violence and crime. God bless each and every one of you.